Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video I'm going to be talking about big auction house flips that you're going to be able to do between phases 1 and 2 in Classic WoW. Technically during phase 2, these auction house flips will continue, but they're definitely going to drop in price as time goes on and as servers get more flooded with items. Specifically, people that are playing on low to medium pop servers will find this information the most valuable. Those of you playing on high pop servers, your economies are going to be all over the place and flipping big items is a lot higher risk because it's really, 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 really hard to determine how often that item is going to drop in instances when there's hundreds of people running those instances. I'll give you an example. Flask of the Titans drops from UBRS off of General Dracosath. And Flask of Supreme Power drops in Skolomance off of Wrath. Now, Flask of the Titans is almost always going to go for more gold due to the fact that it's much harder to require and people have a lot less of a reason to kill General Dracosath than they do Wrath the Frost Whisper. Almost any guild that wants to make Flasks, which is going to be almost every guild that's raiding hard raids, is going to be doing Skolomance every single week, probably multiple times taking out Wrath just to make the Flasks. So, keep that in mind when it comes to buying and reselling. Your people that are good at buying and reselling and already know all of this, you know to take, in those, take into consideration those var variables. For those of you who do not, you'll end up losing a lot of money if you do not very, very carefully think about these flips before you do them. So, here's the script that I'm going to be using, and we're going to go through them one by one. If you're the person, if you're somebody who just likes pausing the video and reading that and then moving on with your day, you can do that, or if you're somebody who wants to listen to me babble about all of these items, then just Alt-Tab and listen to me babble. So the first three items we're going to be talking about are the Hyper Mithril Radiant Reflectors. Specifically, there are Flame, Ice, and Shadow. The Flame one is going to be the most valuable one for quite a while due to the fact that fire resistance is so important. The Ice one and Shadow one will not be valuable at all until PvP comes out and PvP gets more popular, and on PvP servers. For I'm playing on a PvE server right now, so I don't expect high-value PvE items to be that profitable. Or high-value PvP items, I'm sorry. I don't expect it to be that profitable due to the fact that I know the people on this server aren't really interested in PvP. If you're on a PvP server, it'll be a little bit different. Please keep that in mind. Flask of the Titans, Flask of Supreme Power, and Flask of Distilled Wisdom. Those are the three best flask recipes that you'll be able to flip. I already went through uh, Flask of the Titans and Flask of Supreme Power and which one would be better and why. Flask of Distilled Wisdom kind of falls into the same category of uh, Supreme Power, although it is not as farmed as Supreme Power. Of course, Greater Fire Protection Recipe. This drops in LBRS. This would be a great flip and will be for quite a while to come too due to the fact that people make so many of these potions. They're going to be used for Blackwing Lair. They're going to be used for Ragnaros. It's just, it's almost always going to be an insanely in-demand recipe for all of Classic WoW. Arcanite Reaper Plans. This will drop in value like hugely once rarer and better weapons become more common right now people still are using their best in slot boes or best in slot items from five mans once people once the majority of people in guilds and pugs start getting molten core weapons the arcanite reaper plans are going to drop in value substantially until that happens which i would assume another five months probably and so that at, at which point people will pretty much all have their epic weapons and stuff that's when Arcanite Reaper will drop in value. So you still got plenty of time to profit off of that pattern. Robe of the Void drops from Dark Master Gandling and Skullomance. It's also best in slot for Warlocks for, I think, a little bit until Blackwing Lair, until they get their other better robe. But there's also another robe called Robe of the Winter Knight, which is easier to make and easier to acquire than this robe, which kind of devalues the Robe of the Void pattern. Keep that in mind when you're buying Robe of the Void uh, and looking to flip it. Warlocks definitely will want it, but it's not as in demand as the next two recipes, True Faith Vestment and Robe of the Archmage. True Faith Vestment pattern for priests drops in uh, Strathholm Live, and it's best in slot, I think, until AQ40. Robe of the Archmage drops in LBRS around the same area as the Greater Fire Protection Potion recipe, and it will be best in slot for mages until 
I'm not entirely sure how long, but I know mages use that over their tier one robes, the ones that are stacking the spell power, that is. So it'll definitely, definitely be valuable until Blackwing Lair, and that only assumes then the mages are going to use their tier two over that pattern, which I don't know if they will or not. You'd have to ask a mage or Google it. Pattern, Hide of the Wild, best in slot until AQ40, which is going to be phase four, which means this is going to be pretty much one of the best things you can flip on this entire list for quite a while to come. And the flask recipes, of course, are also big deals as well. Almost everybody's going to be using these items. Formula Enchant Weapon Crusader and Formula Enchant Weapon Lifestealing. Lifestealing is not that good of an enchant. However, it is a rare recipe and people will pay for it just due to that. Enchant Weapon Crusader is an extremely good enchant. Arguably the best enchant you can get right now on your weapons. And due to that, that recipe will be uh, definitely something you can very easily flip if you manage to get it for cheap. Righteous Orbs, also used in the Enchant Weapon Crusader, another very good thing to flip. And also keep in mind that when um, Phase 2 comes out and people upgrade their weapons, they're going to want those enchants. So the price of those enchants are temporarily going to go up in price for a little while. Now, also something to keep in mind, and this is kind of uh, optional, I guess you could say, or a variable, is depending on how many upgrades... Kazak and I forget the other world boss that's being added. Depending on how many leg and helm upgrades they drop for people will determine how much Librams and pristine black diamonds go up in value. I don't think they drop that many upgrades in those two slots due to the fact that Ragnaros and Anixia drop tier two. So I'm not entirely sure how the Librams are going to be affected in price by phase two coming out but i do expect them to go up a little bit at first and then probably plummet down as more people came back to the game and more people are running instances and farming up those items and listing them on the auction house so this might actually be a better long-term tip if you buy Librams now and pristine black diamonds now and save them for when phase three comes out and blackwing lair comes out and then even later on during phase four and phase five you'll definitely be able to net a bigger price for them also, if you do the quests yourself and just get the item and then you can do the enchant without even like uh, spare somebody all the time that it would take to do that annoying quest, you'll be able to sell that enchant for quite a bit too. Keep that in mind for people that are interested in that. And the last tip I'm going to give you for this video is these are a bunch of items that you can purchase in the middle of the week when no guilds are raiding and flip pretty much the day before raid day or on raid day. Elixir of the Giants, Elixir of Greater Defense, Elixir of the Mongoose, Mighty Rage Potion, Greater Stone Shield Potion, Greater Fire Protection, Protection Potion, Arcane Elixir, Greater Arcane Elixir, and Elixir of Shadow Power. Also, Ghost Mushrooms and Elemental Fires are two more uh, reagents that will go up in price, typically the day before raids and on raid days. That pretty much covers everything for this Auction House Big Flips video. Of course, you can also flip uh, blues, epics, and stuff like that. I'm going to cover specifically PvP Twink Gear in a later video. Since P F Phase 2 isn't adding Battlegrounds, Twink Gear isn't going to be as uh, desired, I guess you could say, as later phases when they do add Battlegrounds, which is why I'm not covering that right now. Like I said, this video, specifically for really big auction house flips for the next phase or two. And then we'll end up making another video in the future about other auction house flips you can do in the future phases. Anyway, that's pretty much all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you around in the next one.